What's going on guys? I hope you've all been well today. As you can tell probably from the title of this video, we're going to talk all about Soul Calibur 6. Now, I do have a confession to make, and there's a reason why you guys have never heard me talk about Soul Calibur 6 specifically on this channel. I'm sure I've talked about previous games, and I've actually made videos on Soul Calibur 5. I definitely did, because I have some Gordon Ramsay videos of uh, the creative character mode. You guys should check it out. It's pretty funny. But I was at PAX. Uh, I got to check out a lot of cool games and, you know, got to try out Smash Bros, got to interview the developers of Windjammers and play Windjammers 2 and Streets of Rage 4. That was all behind closed doors, so I can't show gameplay of that. And amongst other games. But the one game I actually didn't want to see and try at PAX was Soul Calibur 6. But I did it. And I did it because a friend of mine is a huge fan of Geico swag, so she wanted like some shirts and everything. So they had a setup there at the Geico gaming booth for Soul Calibur 6. And I was like, you know what, Bear? You gotta stop being so stubborn and get your ass to that machine and try this game, all right? Now, you guys are wondering, Bear, why were you so stubborn? Well, I was a huge fan of the Soul Calibur series before. You know, I grew up being a Sega kid, obviously with the Genesis and, uh, the Sega Saturn still is one of my favorite consoles ever, so it was only right that I got a Dreamcast. And obviously on the Dreamcast, Soul Calibur 1 was like fighting game perfection, man. It was so good. Soul Calibur 2 was just where I feel like it really hit mainstream, right? Because they had that crazy marketing with Spawn, Link, and Heihachi in it. I have all three physical versions actually in the other room. I had to get them all because I was such a fan of that game. And then Soul Calibur 3 was good too. Obviously Zoslamel was added. They had that story mode, which was kind of like had this RPG element to it. At the point where it got downhill for me was Soul Calibur 4 and 5. And I don't know what it was about those games. I felt like they weren't really pushing the bar enough with the series. Uh, you know, Soul Calibur 4 was still playable for me, but it was like when 5 came out where I was like, okay, I need to stop giving them my money. And I know that's harsh. And you guys like Beirudi? Shut the fuck up. And I just felt like the games were not evolving enough and they just haven't had enough effort put into them. They were still kind of the same old formula, didn't have any story mode, didn't have like new elements to it. And, and you know, I'm saying this from a fan's point of view. I was a fan, I truly was. I, I bought and purchased every single Soul Calibur game. So after five, I was like, you know what? I'm done with this franchise. So when six was announced, as cool as it was, I was like, you know, I'm staying away from this one. I had enough of my money. I'm staying away. I'm going to maybe watch this reveal trailer and I'm going to check out anything else. Anyways, let me get to the point. It took me this long to finally show some interest in the game. And it wasn't until I tried it where Soul Calibur 6 completely changed my mind. And why, you guys ask? The first initial thing that I felt as soon as I played Soul Calibur 6 was the speed. It was a completely new and revitalized version of the mechanic. And the amount that you were able to cover the screen just by holding the joystick forward or holding the joystick back was crazy of how much faster it was. You know, to put it in perspective, it felt like I was you know, Korean dab backdashing all the time when I was holding back. And that was new, that was fresh, that was so cool. That already was kind of like, whoa. Now I had some gameplay from PAX, as you guys are probably seeing through here, where I was kind of just figuring things out. I was button mashing. I didn't know about all of the new mechanics. I knew that supers were coming back and then introduced a meter. And now that supers are now activated with one button, I believe it is. But man, it was the speed and the fluidity that got me. It felt like there was a lot less tracking moves in the game too. So sidestepping and playing very aggressive was very kind of uh, encouraged. And man, it was like, you know, I, I lost my first two rounds because I wanted to try out one of the new characters. So I tried out Geralt, who's of course the, uh, the main guest character in this game. And, uh, you know, I was kind of sucking with him. I lost against my opponent. It was, it was someone at PAX um, who was playing Zoslamel, I think he was playing as. And I was just, I just got my ass kicked. I was just trying to figure it out. I was like, how does this person play? How does this, this game play? But it was by the third round where I was like, oh, okay, I'm understanding this. I'm remembering Soul Calibur again, but I started to really utilize the speed to my advantage and how I was able to like go in and out and fake the opponent out. I remember the life bars being low 
and I remember just moving up to my opponent and just covering space so quickly and then going for a counter and then just getting the win that way. And it was so cool and satisfied that I was able to play mind games just with moving, you know, like Smash Brothers players know that with, with wave dashing, at least melee players, I should say. Um, and, you know, obviously Tekken players know this and just of how you could use movement to your advantage and be unpredictable. And this game completely had that, which... I don't know, I just didn't expect from a Soul Calibur game. There's also the new reversal edge mechanic. It's like the injustice breaks, you know, when you kind of have this little slow-mo and you both kind of can choose what to do. Except this time it's rock, paper, scissors, but like times five. Like there's so many options. I think there's three attack options you can go for and like five defense options. So after a certain period, I think I was just going for backdash a lot of the time just to kind of avoid the situation. I didn't want to. I didn't want to play rock paper scissors. I wanted to win my matches. But all in all, I don't know anything about the game. It took me a while to get a hang of it. My friends were playing some matches. Shout out to Dimitri and Rattel. I mean, they're not huge Soul Calibur fans anyway, but they were having a lot of fun. Uh, it's great that you can just get away with button mashing in these games, but there's still that depth if you look for it. Oh, the ring out! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Damn. Yo, this game sucks. But I really think Soul Calibur 6, and I can't believe I'm saying this, is actually a very new direction for the franchise in a positive way. And obviously this is coming from someone who pretty much gave up on the franchise, and I thought I fully did. And it goes to show they should never be stubborn with any game release. Um, I apologize for the footage. I know that we didn't look fantastic in this gameplay, but I was trying out some of the new characters and give Soul Calibur 6 a chance. I mean, at least I think I am now after trying it and I'm going to be watching a lot more gameplay videos on it. I'm a believer. That demo changed my mind. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop it a like. I love you all. I'll have some more Dragon Ball content and some other fighting games soon. But you'll definitely expect to see some Soul Calibur 6 here on this channel soon. Take care, guys.